Good afternoon, Jason here, Birchfield Family Farm, Oxford, Ohio. Good word today comes from Isaiah 35. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool, the thirsty ground a bubbling springs, in the haunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and papyrus will grow and a highway will be there. It will be called the Way of Holiness. Hey, we have a pretty nice day today. Mid to high 50s, sun's out. Uh, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite farm inventions today. We didn't invent it, but we're gonna go over it. Uh, it is the hydraulic ram pump. We've got a, a setup here down in a little creek that I wanna show you. And uh, this is really an amazing uh, contraption. We're coming into spring here with the spring rains and we're gonna try and capture some of this water and use it around the farm. Let's uh, head down in the creek here and take a look at what we got going. So I don't have to convince anyone here that's even remotely involved in agriculture of the importance of water, uh, specifically local clean water, on-farm water. Uh, for us, you know, it, it's become about multiple uh, different sources depending on the time of year and how much is running. This creek comes down here, flows into a culvert uh, down that way. And um, what we've done here is we have put together what's called a hydraulic ram pump. And these things are fascinating, at least to me. We're capturing the just the regular flow of water through a pipe. So we've got some head pressure. We've got a couple hundred feet of hose. They call this drive pipe. This comes into this contraption here. This is three quarter inch PVC, two check valves and a pressure chamber. It's pretty much all PVC except for your check valves. How this works is uh, you wanna open up that valve, Sam. So the water flows in with head pressure, flows in and the water hammer immediately comes back and causes this valve to close. When this valve closes, it forces the pressure through the second check valve and into this pressure chamber, and, and this valve closes that way, so it does not allow anything to come back through. So what we're doing is we're capturing, you're using the flow of water to pump water. Uh, but what I wanna do today is it seems to us that the design of this waste valve is really what determines how much pressure you get and then consequently how much water you're gonna be able to pump uh, on this system. So I'd like to test three different valves. We have a brass check valve, a uh, stainless steel check valve, and then we have this uh, modified foot valve. So we're gonna be testing these three valves. We're gonna test the pressure and then we're gonna see our flow rate up top at the tanks and let's see which one does the best. What do you think, Sam? <laughs> so first test here is with the brass valve and the brass valve is giving us just under 18 PSI. Okay, we've got our stainless steel valve on here. Our pressure has landed at right on 35, 35 PSI. Okay, so we got the modified foot valve on here, uh, testing this one out, this waste valve, and it looks like just below 35 PSI, between 34, it's, man, that's just about hitting 35. So it uh, should be interesting here. We're gonna attach this hose, this uh, delivery pipe is what's running to our tanks, way up, not in that barn, but in a, another one way up there. And so let's go up the hill here. I'll show you our delivery pipe setup. You can see right in the middle of the screen there, see the waste valve? Still got that modified foot valve on, but we're coming all the way, all the way up this hill. This is the garden hose coming all the way up. And we have, we're going into that first big barn, not this barn here, the first big one beyond the chicken tractor there. <laughs> and uh, it's 350 feet of garden hose 350 feet of garden hose up this entire hill there this green hose to black here is what's coming in here apologize uh for the mess here we're running electric fence and more grazing uh water lines but this is our flow 
And uh, you can see it doesn't look like much, but we're gonna be using this quart bottle and we're gonna measure the flow rate of each valve. Doesn't look like much, but you have to remember this is a passive pumping source, so this is gonna be pumping 24 seven while you sleep. Okay, so I was curious, um, you know, how could we find the, how high we were pumping water here, how high this thing was moving water. It turns out you can take your PSI reading, this is closed off, so we're just measuring the head pressure coming from the tank back through the hose. You can take your head pressure, multiply it by 2.31, and you can figure out your feet of head. We're sitting, you can see we're sitting right at about nine, nine PSI. That puts us at 20, about 20.8 20 feet, almost 21 feet up. We're moving water uh, with just this little three quarter inch uh, ram pump. The old, the old is becoming new. This is nothing new in terms of technology. Just very simple, uh, probably why I like it so much. The older I get, the uh, simpler I like things. I have these ram pump uh, results. I'm pretty blown away. Again, this is a regular stream, uh, in, in my opinion. You know, not any water, huge waterfalls. We're pumping water with no electric and no fuel out of a creek bed and pumping it up into tanks in the barn. And it's really a passive source of water. Uh, right, uh, as long as you've got fall, you've got flowing water and a waste valve that works, that's functional, then you will continue uh, to pump. And so our results from this test, the brass valve, I'm gonna give it to you in gallons per day. The brass valve was 166. The stainless steel valve was 237 gallons per day. And the modified foot valve was 245 gallons per day you know yeah you got a, a little bit of piping on either side there you can have some cost in that but but just in terms of the ram pump itself everything is standard parts from the hardware just just amazing to me that we can pump uh, this much water uh, with using the flow and the force of water to pump water uh, you know, at first glance, it kind of violates that first law of thermodynamics, right? Energy can be neither created nor destroyed. It's like, wait a minute, you're taking water that on it's only dropping, you know, four or five feet and you're pumping it up 20. How does that work? Aren't you creating something out of nothing? Well, no, because with the waste valve, you're letting most of the water come through. You're only pumping a small amount of water. Um, and so uh, it works. Uh, it works, of course. You know, you wouldn't want this in an application where using uh, water that you're paying for because you're going to waste most of the water. But in a, a situation like a stream, you, know, you don't care if the water just continues to flow, how much is wasted, as long as we, we get a portion of that pumped up. About a 48% increase in the productivity of the foot valve over the brass valve. So 48% increase, and you think about it, think about, well, why is that? Well, the foot valve is, it's a different design, but it's heavier. It's heavier. Now, the stainless steel valve and the modified foot valve, the, the uh, check mechanism is right on about the same weight. I believe it was about 20, 26 grams. We weighed them. And um, so I don't know, there's just a, just a tad bit more efficiency in that modified foot valve you know that's really the key to uh, efficiency or to pumping all that you can pump with a ram pump is having a properly weighted check in that check valve so you want that thing to be as absolutely heavy as you can get but not too heavy to where it won't close different designs to that I'm sure there's a lot of there's a lot of information out there on these things it's not a new technology several hundred years old but uh, you know, had the had the hoses laying around. That was my other point. Fifty to sixty bucks cost in to build a ram pump like this, so it's not expensive. Uh, very short payback when you figure, uh, especially if you're paying for city water or county water. Having this thing uh, being able to turn out, uh, you know, almost two hundred fifty gallons a day, uh, absolutely incredible. Okay, one other thing to consider here between our top two performing valves. Uh, the stainless valve obviously is made of all stainless steel, that flapper in there. Um, I've seen others test these and they hold up very, very well. 
being stainless. Um, this modified foot valve, um, this is all brass. And so you can see that brass piece in there. I mean, that's, it's not designed to go up and down. So I'm not sure on the cycle rating on that, how long it would last. I mean, you've got, you've got brass on brass there on that uh, stem. You know, somebody just really needs to redesign um, design this. Maybe a stainless steel foot valve modified would be the way to go. Um, again, these two are pretty similar in results, but uh, longevity wise, I think you'd want the stainless in there to uh, hold up. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Stainless lasts longer? Yeah. Anyhow, you got questions, you got comments, uh, leave them. Leave them for me and I will certainly do my best to get to them. But uh, thanks for hanging with us here and uh, we'll see you next time.